Welcome back to Done With Depression. I've been doing a 21 day meditation challenge and I've completed the first week. So I've been doing a time lapse um, each time I meditate and it's a meditation and an assignment afterwards. So it's on WhatsApp and every day we get a new meditation and a new assignment. So you'll see me meditating as well as writing some things in my journal. Uh, but some crazy things have happened, I think on day six and seven. So let's take a look and we'll go from there. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm not working right now. Uh, I was able to save up some money when I was working at Starbucks, and I've just been really working on myself, and I've uh, been going through a lot of depression, so I'm trying to do more things that make me happy and actively pursue them. So I don't worry about money a lot, but I think about money a lot. How much I'm spending here, what bills I have coming up, because I'm essentially on a fixed income. A lot of my money is invested in the stock market, but essentially what money is there is what money I have. I don't have a weekly paycheck coming in. I'm not on unemployment. Just what I have is what I have. So um, on one of these meditations, it was really focusing on money and how money is abundant in your life and often we're brought up um, with the idea that we don't have enough money or to scrounge the, all the money you can because you'll never have enough. And so during this meditation, I did the meditation and kind of came to a new sense of money and let's see what happened. So I did my meditation and I did my assignment and set my intent and of course I assume nothing's really going to happen, right? You put your intentions out there, you try and believe it as much as you can, but it doesn't really work all the time. Well the next morning I woke up and Microsoft stock, which I'm highly invested in, uh, was up like 2.5%, but I buy a lot of options which is a whole nother story in itself. But essentially I made almost $6,000 overnight after this money meditation sort of thing. So this next one probably freaked me out the most and I still am not able to describe it. But setting the backstory, my grandpa passed away when I was in middle school and he was my favorite grandpa and he was one of the only father figures I had in my life and his birthday was coming up. So his birthday is coming up. I've always wished that I could like talk to him or communicate with him again and I haven't really been able to do that but I went to one of my meetings one morning and uh, Home Depot is across the street. And so I was debating after one of my meetings if I wanted to go to Home Depot or not. 
and I ended up going and I pull into the parking lot and park behind this car and this is what it says. So I probably should have mentioned that my grandpa I call Papa. I always call him Papa, that's always what I call him. And the chances of me going to program that morning, it being his birthday, me deciding to go to Home Depot when there's one closer to the house that I could have gone to, pulling into the parking lot, parking in that space behind that car that had a Texas license plate, I think, and seeing that message, I just can't really describe how that would have happened. So I've been meditating and trying to get closer to myself. These things have been happening and I can't really explain it, but look out for week two, which will be coming up. And finally week three um, in another week or so. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.